the story of Rylan Whittington, whose journey of transitioning at age five has been seen by seven million people in a family YouTube video. Brian Yenis has the story about that family that hopes their experience can help others. Watch here. You saw me walking down the street. You wouldn't think anything different. 14 year old Rylan Whittington is a typical Southern California teenager. We put our story out there so people could see that like there's another family out there that is going through what we're going through or there's another family who's proud of who they are. Before Ryland could even speak, he managed to tell his parents that he is a boy. I could just see it. It wasn't him trying to be a brat. It was like painful. It was truly painful for him to have to wear feminine clothing and, and for us constantly telling him that you're a girl. And unlike some trans kids, when Ryland came out at age five, a few years later, he had the full support of his parents. Initially, there was some pushback from us in yeah. trying to understand this. We were confused like most people are. We thought that gender and sexuality were the same thing. It took us a while to figure out that those two things are different and that children actually do recognize their gender identity very young. Some of them, not all. For me, it's just a deep spiritual belief that you believe in God and he, you know, created us the way he wanted us. Well, then, yes, he created Rylan just the way he is. Allowing him to, to live authentically and true to himself and be who he really feels like he is. When you get to know Rylan, you see just how proud and confident he is of himself. I never thought that I would be known for this, like, as well as I am, but really it's just a small part of who I am. He just brushes things off his shoulders like it's fine. He moves on in his life and he's just kind of think everything we've been through. He's just like learned to do that and he's really good at it. I could never do that. I'm just here to make the ride smoother for others. You might be struggling right now, but we believe in you. This family, we might not know you. We might not know where you live, but you know, we understand you and we believe in you. What extraordinary courage displayed by Ryland, his sister Brinley, Father Jeff, and Mom Hillary. I want to thank the Whittington family for speaking to us. It's not easy, particularly at a time when, tra when transgender issues have been politicized. People are afraid of what they do not understand, Dana. This family hopes their story will lead to more understanding, more acceptance, and ultimately, more love.